Peggy 12. Hi Sims fans, my name is King and I'm here with Sarah Nelson today to talk to you about the cool new social features that are coming to The Sims 3. Thanks King, we're really excited to bring these new features to The Sims. Basically we're offering the players a new way to connect with each other and share experiences mm -hmm. for the first time directly in their game. Cool, can we take a peek? Yeah, let's do it. So what you're going to notice right away when you're logged in and you're connected and in your game is that we've added this new player updates tab to the notification system. It's where you can quickly type in whatever you're doing, whatever your sims are doing. And this is also where I can see other things that my friends are doing. So I have a friend here who posted a memory about her sim getting a promotion. I can quickly comment something like, baby, you're moving on up. And your comment will show up on their player wall. That's right. And that will be seen by all of their friends. And then um, my comment will be seen by all of my friends. Great. I can access the player wall here mm -hmm. um, just directly from the notification system mm -hmm. or through the options menu. And I can see all kinds of status updates here. This is also where you'll see when my friends earn a badge mm -hmm. and completed an achievement. When I see that, I'm like, oh, I want to earn that <laughs> achievement. So you can go from your player wall to the achievements tab mm -hmm. and that kind of shows you your progress as you're tracking against all of the achievements that mm -hmm. are available for you to achieve. You'll see your recently completed badges, uh, new achievements which we'll go into a little bit later. Mm -hmm. And you can also filter by category. So you can filter by all achievements or you can filter by difficulty level, bronze, mm -hmm. silver, gold or even by expansion packs as well. Just filter it and just decide what you want to go after. Like exactly. So I was talking before about how you can get new achievements, mm -hmm. and this will happen all the time in your game. So once a week or so, when you open up your game and you're logged in, you'll get a new achievement in your oh. game that you can do. And we can make them thematic. And yeah. so you get the Fit as a Fiddle challenge, and your sim needs to do 200 hours of cardio mm -hmm. in order to get that shiny new gold badge. So what happens when you earn a badge? When you earn a new badge, you get a post on your player wall, and that goes to all of your friends. That shows up on your My Page on thesims3.com, and if you want, you can push it to Facebook and Twitter. So, for all these new achievements to be uh, pushed through to your game, do you need to be online? That's a great question. You do need to be online to get the new achievements, but let's say something happens to your internet connection. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, your game is going to keep track of your uh, progress toward the achievement, and then when you get back online, if you've uh, done everything to satisfy the achievement, you'll see that you got the badge. This is your friends tab, and this is where you can manage all of your friends. All of your friends that you have on your My Page on thesims3.com, mm -hmm. you'll be able to access them here in-game. You can add friends, you can delete friends if you want, <laughs> you can block friends, or you can search for new friends, and you can search by their persona name, or you can search by uh, the games that they own. Uh, so if you wanted to find somebody who's playing Showtime, can you go in there and find them? Like yeah, absolutely, you can. If you don't know somebody's persona name mm. and you're playing Showtime and you want to share these experiences with somebody else, but you don't know how to find friends, yeah. you can just search for anybody who has Showtime and it will bring back a bunch of people that you can add as friends. That's a great way. And here we are on the new My Page on thesims3.com. Mm -hmm. You'll see that it reflects a lot of the things that we were talking about on the in-game wall. So anything that's happened in game, you can just go onto your My Page and see it on your player wall. That's right, exactly. So we understand that privacy is a really big concern for players, and so we wanted to be able to offer an ability to, for players to adjust their privacy settings either from their My Page on thesims3.com or mm -hmm. from directly within game. And you can choose to have your page public so that it's viewable by everyone. Mm -hmm. Or if you just want your friends only to see your status updates and your wall, mm -hmm. you can choose that. Or if you want it to not be viewable by anyone, you can select private. You can also adjust your privacy settings for your friends list. Mm -hmm. If you don't want other people to see who you're friends with, you can hide that as well. Mm -hmm. The share settings are another thing that you can adjust from here. Mm -hmm. Let's say you always want to share your achievements and your badges earned to Facebook or Twitter. Mm -hmm. You can set that and they will always post those notifications to Facebook and Twitter. So how and when can players start getting access to these cool new features? Players can download these features with the update will be coming out in March. 
and that works with any of your Sims games, any of your expansion packs or your stuff packs. And it is completely optional. You don't have to use these features at all. You don't have to play the game online, but if you choose to do so, there are some great ways that you can share your experiences. Great.